Welcome. This is the Jenkins Governance Board meeting. It's the 16th of October, 2023. Thanks for being here. Today, we've got calendar as an agenda topic, and then we've got news as a general topic, action items, community activity report, and as crucial items, governance topics, we're going to do board and officer elections. Alex, we'll look for a report from you. Cloudbees, or Oracle Cloud Costs as donated by Cloudbees, proposal to cancel the December 25 meeting, and then we'll do a budget discussion. And the budget discussion, I will actually end the recording before we get into the budget discussion so that we can discuss things in detail without recording. Any items that need to go on to the agenda, Okay, then let's go ahead. So first first topic up is upcoming calendar. A new LTS will be out on Wednesday. Thanks very much to those who are contributing to it. And the next baseline out in about four weeks will be 2.426. Congratulations and thanks to Basel that 426 has prototype JS removed. It'll have a Java 11 admin monitor and it will not support Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 or any of its derivatives. Thanks a bunch. Uh, we've also got two upcoming releases that have interesting things in them. There's a, a publicly disclosed CVE on HTTP2 that will be fixed in 2.428 with the inclusion of the latest version of Jetty, and it will be fixed in 2.414.3. Because these are already disclosed, uh, there won't be a separate secure or there won't be a separate pre-announcement. They'll just be included in the in those Jenkins releases. And a reminder, we've got upcoming, we've got running officer and board elections. Any questions or comments on the upcoming calendar? Okay, then let's go on to news. So the Jenkins elections 2023 nominations in progress. We need more registered voters. Uh, we'll have Alex give a, a deeper status report later in the meeting. Cloudflare is now sponsoring the Jenkins project, and we're looking to that as a way to significantly reduce our AWS costs. And Java 21 support is further improving. We're getting more and more plugins that are testing success success successfully with Java 21 and Jenkins Core and a number of other components are passing tests. Basel is going to do a summary blog post for us after we've had a little more time to get things settled there. Basel, I assume you're still okay with that blog post and looking forward to doing it? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. And thanks again to everyone who's been involved in Prototype JS. That's been an amazing amount of work. One of the plugins that we had listed last time has now released. I don't, I, oh, it was the OpenStack plugin that had previously been flagged as not yet released, has released. So we're still making progress there. These others, I don't see releases from them yet, hoping they'll get those done before the LTS is available. Anything, anything else on the news section? Okay, action items. So I had the action item to add a budget and costs topic to the regular board meeting agenda. I've done that. We'll discuss it later today. Alex and Uli running the officer and board elections. Alex, do you want to give us a status update or defer to Uli? Which one would you prefer? I can go ahead. I don't mind. <clears throat> uh, compared to last year, we have uh, 16 voters less in the discourse group. Last year we had 66, currently we have 50, but there are, I think, two weeks left. Yeah, no, actually three weeks left. It ends on November the 5th, the 5th. And I think I'm going to uh, ahead and post a little reminder on the previous mailing list and um, discourse post and ask people to join the group if they're still interested in vote in casting the vote 
I think you reached out to some previous contributors, if I get that correctly, like people from C Code Africa and others, and they did join the group too. Is that correct? I did, and some of them did. I was I was a little dismayed actually. I reached out, and I think I got a twenty five percent or less response rate. I thought that was an easy one. You obviously contributed to Jenkins. You should be willing to vote, but only about one in four actually registered to vote. So, so yes, it. I did. I did do it, and I thought it was an easy thing, but apparently not easy enough that all of them got engaged. Oh, good. No worries. I will post a reminder on the mailing list and discuss um discourse thread this week uh, and i think we may get a few more people in the um, election water group registration closes on november the 5th and we have a couple of weeks left until then and i'm promising looking forward to that date and how are we doing for nomination of candidates do we have a viable set of candidates do we have any slots that are have no candidate for instance no, all slots have at least one no, have at least one person nominated, and election nomination ends on October the twenty seventh next Friday, and I think I can post a reminder for that too in case there's someone else who wants to nominate someone or nominate themselves. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, and may, uh, as, um, I think uh, one thing what I uh, noted is that we have no yeah, additional persons to work, uh, to, to uh, non additional nominations. So we have just the number of candidates that need to fulfill the position. So we have two board nominations and one for Every, so maybe we don't need an election at all if we just have uh, yeah one person per slot. <laughs> so maybe we don't need much more voters uh, if there is nothing to vote. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I think it's going to be like last year. We have one yeah. proposal per role per slot. And if there's nobody else who's going to recommend someone or nominate themselves, Maybe don't have any election and the people um proposed and I think all of them did already agree to the proposal will be in the new role. So if candidates agree to accept the nomination and they are the only nominee, then they are elected, right? Is Thanks. there a way to uh, get rid of the old nominations in this uh, mailing thread on Community IO? Because it's a little bit difficult for me to uh, see which nominations are for this year and which nominations are for the last year. Ah, good question. So, can we clear the outdated nominations? And that's one, I'm not sure I see that list. So Alex, I guess you are probably administrator for that list in the, or that topic in on community. Yeah, I uh, see it as yeah. well. Yeah, I did take a look at that, but I don't think, I mean, you can delete your own DMs from this course, but you can't delete or just wipe the entire inbox. I don't think that's possible as far as I'm aware. Okay. Okay, so we may, Uli, you may be stuck just checking the date of each one yes, to of see, was it? Okay, great. Maybe next year we should create a new uh, group with a year in the group, then it's easier to see the nominations for the current year. Good suggestion, yeah. Anything else on the on the voting topic? Hey, thanks very much, Alex. Thanks, Uli, for running that. So next action item was the retrospective on signing certificate renewal process. I've, I apologize. I've made no progress on this one, nor have I made any progress on the next one to remove, to replace 
sub projects and SIGs with working groups. Kevin, anything you want to report on the retire Jenkins, the Chinese Jenkins site? Uh, I haven't been, uh, I've been out for the last few weeks uh, due to illness, but uh, my plan is actually tomorrow to ch check in with the infrastructure team during the info meeting uh, and uh, find out what we can do about that uh, prioritization. So, yeah. yeah. So what Kevin and I found was that it looks like the Chinese site is implemented as a series of helm charts in the infra team. And so they, they are probably the best point to look to what does it take to switch off those Chinese sites and replace them with redirects to the, to the, the English site. All right. Last action item I had was on a drafting a proposal for license policy and phrasing changes. I apologize. No project, no progress there either. Any action items I've missed or things that, that should be flagged. Okay. Next topic then was community activity. So here, the first item is this Java 11, 17, and 21. And I've posted the Jenkins enhancement proposal uh, as, a, as a pull request for review and discussion. I need to check the dates and compare the dates in the draft document that I've proposed and the admin monitor and the Google Doc. There are things there that aren't, aren't immediately obvious to me as to which one should be and why. So it's, it needs more analysis, but the draft is there. It's been phrased, attempting to be clear and precise. Key dates we know about, we've got, we've already passed the introduction of the admin monitor for in Jenkins weekly. Mid November, we'll get it into Jenkins LTS and then Based on that calendar, a year from October 2nd will be the last, the dot three of a Jenkins LTS that supports Java 11. And the second to last day of the month of October would be the first Jenkins LTS to require Java 17. That's a difference based on what I had done previously. I had made some calendar mistakes. And then October 31, we end all support of Java 11 by the Jenkins project. Any questions there, concerns or comments? Now let's bring it on. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. All right. Hacktoberfest is in progress. There's really no no new information to that I need to report. Are there any things that others in the board meeting want to share about their observations on Hacktoberfest or things we need to do differently or better? I can say from the perspective of my plugins, it is very, very quiet. Just two or three pull requests, and that's all. So that's okay for me because I did not make an advertising somewhere. But yeah, I have the, yeah, even in Jenkins, I don't think that there are so many new contributors around, even not on the GitHub channel. Or in the community, it's just a yeah a hand of people more not. I, I did advertise some issues, or at least one issue um, that we had um, that we had already talked on about on the developer list. I'll have to check back in and see if uh, anyone was interested in that. Bruno, I assume that you haven't seen a bunch. I know I've not seen many. The few that I've seen were of were were relatively common first time contributors trying to get the easiest thing in that they could to check off the pull request box. Yes, I haven't seen anything major as for the contributions, and yeah. No, the only thing I would say about um, the involvement of people with uh, the Jenkins CI organization is that not i don't know how this is configured but i don't think all of the repositories um belonging to the jenkins ci or jenkins infra organization are by default associated with Oktoberfest. Right. i don't know i think i have 20 something prs um running at the moment and five of them have been um 
label labeled as uh, Oktoberfest. So mm, I don't know uh, if people are able to find easily um, repositories where they can contribute and get a badge. Well, so there's they have to the repositories must be labeled with or must have yeah. the topic Oktoberfest and. If the maintainer is not willing to support Hacktoberfest, we hope they won't add that topic. So, so for some maintainers, I think it's healthy that they don't add the topic. Mm -hmm. Of course. Good. All right. Anything else on Hacktoberfest? No. Okay. I think in terms of governance topics, then anything else, Alex, that you want to mention on board and officer elections? No, not really. Okay. Next topic from me then is the donation of Oracle cloud costs by CloudBees. So two, almost three years ago now, we, we signed up for a, a promotional program with Oracle Cloud that gave us discounted access to their resources. And we used it to host archives.jenkins.io. And it, it was quite a nice discount. It was 80 or 90%. So very, very, very nice discount. But that discount period ended January of 2023. And uh, we I didn't detect that they were now billing us at regular rates. And that was a surprise. So I got a notice July or something that we were overdue payments. CloudBees has agreed to sponsor those payments. And unfortunately, I'm having all sorts of challenges with Oracle billing, trying to get them to actually allow us to make payments on three of the invoices. Uh, Alex and Uli, uh, Kosuke and Oleg are all seeing the email exchanges back and forth with Oracle that are happening. And please bear with me. Eventually, I think we'll get this thing closed. There are no more Oracle expenses, Oracle cloud expenses. We, we successfully stopped them all as of 30th of September. Any questions on the Oracle Cloud uh, cost situation? Okay, last item then is December 25th, 2023 is scheduled as a date for this board meeting. I propose we cancel it. Uh, any dissent from that proposed cancellation of the December 25 meeting? Great. I will assume it's passed by acclamation. Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now.